Phil Notes, Episode 1-5, Large Prints, Having Fun With Your Nature Photos. If like me you've been into nature photography for some time and you've ended up having a very nice portfolio of photos but not much time to look at them because they reside on your hard drive and you're often outside taking photos, you may find the following interesting. Over the last two years, I've been experimenting with printing large format photos to decorate both the walls of my house and of my office. In this video, I'll share with you my tips for getting started in large format prints. But before we start, a little disclaimer. I'm not here to tell you what you should do or how to do it. I'm just sharing my experience in hope of helping others. All images are my own. All the gear used in this video was purchased or rented with my own funds. I have no affiliations with retailers, manufacturers, or any printing services. Some background before jumping into Lightroom and Photoshop. All dimensions in this video will be in inches unless otherwise stated. By large prints, I mean something like a 20 by 30, a 24 by 30, a 24 by 36, or a 30 by 40. Why not larger? Because 30 by 40 is big enough for my needs and it's the biggest I've found so far that can be printed locally at a reasonable cost. By reasonably affordable, I mean that it costs to me before taxes somewhere between $20 and $22 Canadian. There doesn't seem to be one definite standard answer to the question, what resolution do I need for a large format print? After reading on the subject and talking with print shop operators, it would seem that the following are likely good starting points. The ideal resolution for a print that will be seen up close, like a 4x6 photo, is 300 pixels per inch. Here's an example, an uncropped photo from my Nikon D750 has 24 megapixels, 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. So if I want a 12 by 18 inch print, I will have a resolution of 333 pixels per inch, 6,000 divided by 18 and 4,000 divided by 12 equals 333 pixels per inch. The viewing distance for large prints like a 20 by 30 or a 30 by 40 will be more than one foot. It would normally be more like three feet. Because of this, it is considered reasonable to use a resolution of 240 pixels per inch or even 200 pixels per inch for such prints. For the sake of simplicity in the following examples, I'll be using a print resolution of 200 pixels per inch for my large prints. You can use a higher print resolution if you wish to do so. So if I wanted to get good image quality for a 20 by 30 print, I would need an image that's 4,000 pixels by 6,000 pixels when printing at 200 pixels per inch. Okay, let's jump into Lightroom. I'm assuming you've edited your photos and are satisfied with them. I would then suggest that you zoom in at one to one 100% in Photoshop, and, and have a good hard look at the photo. Is it sharp? Is it noisy? Are the details crisp? This is especially important if you're work, if like me, you're working off a small laptop. In this example here that I selected, uh, you can see that the beak, the eye, the feathers are not very sharp. So even though this photo could make a very nice eight by 10, I don't think it's a very good candidate for a large print. Once we find a photo that has potential quality-wise, we must evaluate what size we can print the image at. In this current example, the image is 5,327 pixels by 3,556 pixels. Remembering that we don't want to go below 200 pixels per inch, if we divide these numbers, we get that the maximum we could print this image would be roughly smaller than 27 inches by 18 inches. So the resolution we would get would be almost sufficient for a 30 by 20 inch print. 
As it stands, we would have about a 178 pixel per inch resolution. So at this point, we have three options. A, we could choose to go with a smaller print. B, we could take a chance and print it anyway because we're not really that far off the 200 pixels per inch resolution that we would like. Or C, we can go into Photoshop and have the image resampled. Photoshop will use an algorithm to interpolate and add pixels to reach the desired resolution of 200 pixels per inch. So let's try Photoshop and see what comes out. Okay, to jump into Photoshop and resample the image, we go to Photo, Edit in, Edit in Adobe Photoshop. It'll take a few seconds as the image is loaded into Photoshop. Now I will just uh, zoom out a little bit. We will go to image, image size. And as you can see here, Photoshop recognizes that the image is uh, the same size that we had, which is perfectly normal. We will go to resolution. We will enter 200 pixels per inch, which is our uh, required resolution to print. We will then go into and enter the dimensions of our, of our print. Now Photoshop, because these two elements here are linked, if you enter the correct dimension here, it will adjust the uh, equivalent dimensions to the other side to, to, for the height. Make sure that resampled is clicked and automatic will do a perfectly good job in this case because it is just a small increment that we are asking for resampling. Click OK. Photoshop has adjusted the image. If we go back to image size, you'll notice now it's now 6,000 by 4,000 pixels, which is what we wanted to get a 200 pixel per inch resolution when printing. Now we can go into File, Export, Export as. My printer requires a JPEG or TIFF to print. So we'll export a JPEG file at 100% quality. Press export. Select the name you want and save. Now this in itself is a very fine image. The one thing we could do easily is add border and text to dress it up. The width of the border is a matter of personal preference. I personally go with 1.5 inches or 2 inches depending on how big the print is. When we add the border, it changes the crop ratio of the image itself, not the print obviously. Again, bear with me as we do some basic math. If we go with a border of 1.5 inches, we need to subtract 3 inches from the width and the height of the photo to respect the 20 by 30 inch print format. So we need an image that is 27 by 17, which, mean that, which means that the crop ratio is 1.59 instead of 1.5. We currently have an image that is 5,327 pixels by 3,556 pixel, a 1.5 crop ratio. We need to make our image narrower. If we divide the width of the of 5,327 pixels by the new crop ra ratio, we get the height must be 3,350 pixels. It just so happens that I have such an image and I'm ready, we're ready to go into Photoshop and dress up the image. So again, we go to Photo, Edit, Edit in Photoshop. I will zoom out a little. 
we will go to image size and we can tell that Photoshop has the new crop ratio. We will tell it that we want a 27 inch by 17 and that we're fine with a resolution of 200 uh, pixels per inch. Click the resample and OK. It's giving us given us the uh, 27 inch by 17 inch image that we need. Then we go to canvas size. We will now tell it that the canvas size, the print, the final print will be 30 inches by 20 inches. Make sure canvas extension color is white. Click OK. And voila, we've added the border around our uh, image and dressed it up. What we can do also is add text. Make sure our text is centered. Again, ex and then we export the uh, the results. Export as. Choose JPEG, one hundred percent. Give it a new name. I will put B for border. And there we have it. Our image is done. It's dressed up. As always, your opinion matters. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at how I do large format prints and how I dress some of them up. What about you? Do you print large format photos? Do you have a different approach? Please feel free to share your experiences in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.